Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Our guest is a Nigerian rapper, singer, and songwriter who has worked with industry giants in Nigeria and, of course, Africa. He is a man who needs no introduction. Let's make welcome the man whose stage name is an acronym of SEEK, um, Knowledge, Acquire, Large, Entrepreneurial, and Skills. The one and only Skills. Hey. <laughs> How hey. are you doing? I'm good, man. I'm all right, chilling. You know? I feel like it's been a minute. Yes. Yeah, man, it's been a minute, but we've, we've still been around. So what have you been doing, Skills? People are asking questions. What is going on with Skills? A, a lot of things is going on, actually. Um, I put out an EP called Healing Process. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's been doing really great. It's been doing amazing. Big shout out to everybody that has listened to it, streamed it. You know, um, I also put out a video just two weeks ago. It's called Bad Man Love. Mm -hmm. And um, it's been doing quite amazing. You know, the girls have been showing me love, and I okay. really appreciate it too. Okay. And the guys showing you love as well. <laughs> I represent the guys too, but <laughs> they have been showing me love. They're pushing me the right way. Okay. All right. Yeah. So far, like, you've been in the industry for quite a minute. Yeah. Um, what would you say has been that, like, personal experience that you say is unique to you that you are appreciative of? Um, uh, First of all, I would say um, the love that I get, the love and the support, most importantly, you know, just keeps me going, mm. you know, because, I mean, I know that I'm special, <laughs> you know what I mean? but, but, you know, I just feel like maybe I don't deserve some certain kind of support, but, you know, mm. it just happens and, you know, it just keeps me going. It, it just gives me that drive that to say that, you know, there's a lot of people, you know, counting on me and I can't fail. You've evolved you know? as well with the style of music. Yeah. Um, Maybe because how we met you, you were kind of like a duo and everything. So yeah. maybe we didn't really know that style. But I feel like yeah. even listening to your music before the interview, yeah. um, it's changed quite a bit. Yeah. Is that, I mean, obviously, you've also grown. So I'm, yeah. I'm sure evolvement is natural to humankind. But what okay. actually inspired that type of change and where you, where you changed into, if that makes sense? Um, I, I would say it's, uh, you know, constantly just practicing, you know, like, you know, like I heard you guys saying before I got into the interview, you know, always being in the studio, always being around creative minds and, you know, younger minds. Mm. So big shout out to all the, the new team I've been working with too, you know, they've been inspiring me to do like different kind of stuff, different kind of sound. Mm. And trust me, you've not heard anything yet. So they're yeah. kind of directing your creativity. Yeah, you know, they, yeah, they kind of like have like influenced it in one mm. way or the other. It's yeah. interesting okay. you say that, sorry, because the, the upcoming art, artists always yeah. complain that the you know, the guys who have been there longer actually don't want them to shine and that they, there's a lot of <laughs> exploitation going on. That Obviously, that doesn't sound like it's your case, but do you think there's an element of truth in regards to that? I mean, <clears throat> don't I don't know about that <laughs> because, <laughs> because I don't know about that because, I mean, I see a lot of young people shining right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so lot, yeah. I don't know if that was, and I see a lot of, you know, people that have been there before them, you know, still coming to right, collaborate them. with them, which yeah. means... Mm -hmm. We, we love. love what you're doing mm -hmm. and we want to be a part the of it. So I don't know. I just, feel, I just feel like anybody that sits down to complain is lazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so talking about dropping new songs and being in the studio, it will be an injustice for you to be on this table today and not talk about Twice at all. Okay. <laughs> so have you listened to Bonner Boy's new album? Of course, man. Of course, mm. definitely. What do you think? It's amazing. It's Bonner Boy, man. What are you talking about? Man? That's my brother, man. Yeah. You know, so, and he's also someone that I've collaborated with on so many stuff. So, mm. yeah, definitely, man. He's a, it's amazing. I don't know what anybody wants to say about it, but, you know, it's amazing. So Everything what, about which, it is which perfect. one is your favorite song on the album? Definitely. He had, he had my best band in the world on the album, which is so. one somebody from Copley, right? Right. So, yeah. yeah, man. If you know Chris Martin, you know that, that that song is a big deal. Chris Martin is someone that has caused issue between Jay-Z and Kanye West before. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> think about it. There's levels. Know, so. Do you think yeah. this is worth a Grammy, though? Hell yeah. Of course. <laughs> I think, okay. So we're looking great. forward to that, yeah? yeah? Definitely. I can't wait, man. I can't wait to, you know. Okay, so this new song that you just um, released, please yeah. tell me more about it. What inspired you to write that particular song? Uh, is it a story, a feeling, a woman, a girl? Boy, so it's it's like, about a woman. Yeah, but, I mean, I'm, getting, I'm using scope to just to ask for tea, basically. So. Yeah, um, of course, it's about a woman, you know. Mm. But a real not, woman. Not, not a particular woman, per se. Not Okay, yeah, it's you. But it's about, like, just me... <laughs> Me just sitting down, mm -hmm. you know, as a bad man that I already am. Oh, <laughs> Not bad man as in bad, bad as in good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. But, you know, just looking for a love that, uh, a woman that can, you know, give me all the loving without no strings attached. Mm. Mm. Talking yeah. about loving and strings <laughs> attached. But you know, still. And you, you know, there, there's a perception about you on 
I don't know if it's just online or yeah. everywhere. Yeah. There are two actually. One is that you kind of give out this a feminine vibe when you choose your outfits. That's one. What? Mm. <laughs> Secondly, that you are a lover boy and that you love relationships mm. and you can be there for a long time. I don't yeah, know. What yeah, do you, yeah, what's, yeah. what's the truth? I think the lover boy part was kind of correct. Mm -hmm. So, But that, that used to be me. But I don't know about now. You're not a lover boy anymore. I think I, I, I don't. It's yeah, like a 50-50 thing, you know. Oh, no, I'm not involved. I'm still there, you know. Okay. I love love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, I don't know. I just right now I'm just like, um, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Let's just so you let someone, someone, someone. Damn, you guys may want to tell us. Okay, now. yeah, this, this show is called Tea, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no one, that is well, cool. we have to. <laughs> is there, you know, um, I'm just in between right now. You know, uh, that's what I, <laughs> that I like. I like to, you know, I like to. Probably is entangled with. How many people are you entangled with? Right yeah, ah, uh, more. As uh, as long as I, you know, I. I I, uh, mm. What's the word? I don't want to use the wrong word. As long as I'm feeling you, you know? mm. <laughs> entangled. Let's entangle. Are you looking Whoa. at ever settling? I know, like for musicians, it feels like they've at, broken his heart. You know, what? like are you looking <laughs> at ever settling, doing the old school traditional stuff, kids Defin and marriage? Definitely, definitely, you know, like. man. You know, I have a mom that's always on my neck, so definitely. Mm. Mm. She's using for her grandbabies. You know, Scale. straight up, man. So yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Okay. That's that's the goal always, you know. But right now, I'm just in the. You know, less in the world. Mm. Okay, <laughs> don't let the world consume you. But yeah. talking about you being in the industry for a very long time and the achievements, and of course, we know we followed the story. We know the ups and the downs. What would you say about the industry when it comes to relationships between artists and record labels? And right now, that it seems like every known artist or blown artist now has a record label. Mm. What do you think about that space right now? Um. Okay. For I, I don't like talking about relationships between artists because I, I, I'm still confused too about mm -hmm. it. Okay. But um, I'll talk about the label and the artist, this thing. Um, the world is evolving, obviously. Like things that a label could do for you, a lot of artists can easily do for themselves now, mm. which is, you know, um, I mean, apart from some kind of financial mm. aspects of it. Well, but yeah, the, you know, the fact that you have easy access to upload your stuff to streaming platforms, monitor the back ends and know how you're doing, know who, which part of the world likes you and which part doesn't like you, which part you need to work on, stuff, you know, it just makes it easy. Mm. So, which means artists can even be independent and do their thing and you can sit at home and not even go anywhere and mm -hmm. make your music happen, yeah. you know, and I feel like that's what's happening to people like this, the Omali, yeah. you know, being easily discovered is because everybody's on their phone now. Mm -hmm. okay. so, so, sorry, which part of the world do you think likes you? Me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot, of, a lot of parts too. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of like parts, you're your you know. biggest. Nah, no, my biggest actually East Africa and uh, yeah. East Africa and the uh, UAE. No, nice. yeah, yeah. I feel like there's still more to discover from you, and I think there's more you can offer to the world Definitely. as well. So, what's like, what should we be expecting? Let's say, you know, future plans and everything from you. Um, I'm working on an album at the moment. Um, I have Roti Me on it. Um, I have um, damn. Who else do I have? I have a lot of people. I just, it's because I just got off the phone with Routine. That's why I can't remember. Mm -hmm. okay. so, but I have a lot of people. Um, the album was supposed to be done, but I've just been reworking it, reworking it. Mm -hmm. So I, that, I was going to drop it this year, but nah, I've moved it okay. because I still have a couple of videos to drop for my EP. Okay. Yeah, but um, Bad Man Love just came out. So yeah. Let's enjoy Bad Man Love, Love right? Definitely. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. see. Awesome. Okay, thank you for doing Tea with Our Skills. Thank you very much for having me. All right, and that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching, and please do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 090 6057 or Twitter to Plus TV Africa. Also, catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, A Plus TV Africa. Do watch Tea Time on Arrow TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Shoke, who had to step down, and of course, our guest, Skills. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. And the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.